Pope Francis made his first visit to the Vatican News headquarters, which houses the Vatican's newspaper L'Osservatore Romano, Vatican Radio, the Vatican Television Center, and the official website of the Holy See. The Vatican Communications Department was created in 2015 to bring together all of the Holy See's media outlets. The Pope greeted those who worked there and was even shown how the front page of L'Osservatore Romano is made. He then visited the Vatican Radio Chapel, where he prayed for social communications. The Pope then visited the Vatican Radio Studios, where he went on air to greet listeners and shared a message with the network's producers. Io soltanto una preoccupazione. Tanti motivi di preoccuparsi, no? De, sulla radio, sull'osservatore, ma una che a me tocca tanto il cuore. Quanti ascoltano la radio e quanti leggono l'osservatore romano? The Holy See spends over $52 million each year on its media projects, which employs some 500 people. The Pope asks them to use their resources to reach more people and spread the message of Jesus through their outreach. Perché c'è il pericolo è tutta tutte le organizzazioni, il pericolo di una bella organizzazione, un bel lavoro, ma che no, non arrivi eh, dove deve arrivare, no? The Pope's visit marked the 160th anniversary of L'Osservatore Romano and the 90th anniversary of Vatican Radio. He thanked those present for their dedication to their work and greeted some of them as he left. It was Pope Francis's second public appearance in Rome outside of the Vatican since the latest wave of coronavirus hit Italy.